So, what about that Louison, eh? 99 damage for a pistol? Sounds outrageous. I think we should investigate. What's up guys, Rogue9 here, and today I would like to share with you the results of a little test I will be running in order to find out what Cavera's pistol really is capable of. So the official damage rating is 99, which is just amazing, but when firing this pistol at distance, I've noticed a distinct lack of knockdown power. So in order to find out what damage this pistol will do at exactly what range, I've set up the following test. I will have Cavera stand on her own nitro cell and I will use IQ scanner to accurately measure the distance between the two players. Then I will have Cavera fire a single shot at the chest of IQ to get an accurate measure of the damage done by the Louison. So let's get right to it. Our first test distance is a point blank 2 meters or about the height of a newborn baby giraffe. Okay, that should be it. Hit it. Excellent, we have our first result. At 2 meters, when fired against lightly armored targets, the Louison will do a full 99 damage. Next up is 3 meters or the length of a fully grown female southern elephant seal. Righto, that's 3 meters. Do it! Ah, the things I do for science. Well, with 7 health left, that means that at distance 3 meters, the damage is 93. Okay then, I think we know how this works by now. Let's speed things up a bit, shall we? At 4 meters distance, which also happens to be the fin tip to fin tip length of an ocean sunfish, the damage dealt by the Louison is 77. At 5 meters, the length of a large adult black caiman, the Louison will do 65 points of damage. And at 6 meters, which is also known as the length of a large great white shark, the pistol will do 49 points of damage. 7 meters is sort of the maximum length of a large saltwater crocodile, and it also happens to be the point at which the Louison will do 34 points of damage. At 8 meters distance, the length of a Triceratops skeleton, damage dealt drops all the way down to 28. At 9 meters, which is the height that a short fin mako can jump clean out of the water, our pistol will deal 23 points of damage. And finally, at 10 meters distance, which happens to be the average length of a male giant squid once it reaches adulthood, the Louison will do 19 points of damage against lightly armored targets. This is also the distance where the damage reduction stops, so no matter how much further the target, the damage will always remain the same. But wait, I hear you say, what about enemies with medium armor or even heavy armor? Well, testing for those classes does come with a problem. We will no longer have IQ's gadget to be able to judge distances accurately, but there are two distances that we can measure with every character, and that is point-blank range and maximum distance. Point-blank damage against medium armor is 89, and minimum damage at range is 17. And last but not least, let's test the damage against heavy armor. First at point blank range, and that's 78. And at distance, the damage is an almost insignificant 15. Now, this is where things get a little interesting. If we take the minimum damage against light targets, 19, and divide it by the maximum damage, 99, that shows us that at distance we only do 19.2% of the maximum damage. If we perform the same calculations for medium, 17 divided by 89, and heavy armor, 15 divided by 78, that shows us that the damage at range is 19.1% and 19.2% for each of those categories. Given that the damage reduction at maximum range is the same for all three categories, I think it is safe to assume that the damage reduction will be the same throughout. So if we extrapolate the figures for medium and heavy armor from the empirical data we gathered for light armor, we end up with a table that looks something like this. 
Even though the damage done to medium targets, and especially heavy targets compared to light, is quite significantly lower, the end result remains almost the same. If we consider that we need to do a total of 100 points of damage to kill a target, then these are the number of shots required at each distance. And after all of these figures, it's these ones that give you the useful conclusion to this test. How many times will we have to shoot an enemy before he falls over? And in spite of the considerable differences in damage dealt against the various types of armor, we can conclude that no matter who you're aiming at, at a distance of up to 5 meters you can take them down with 2 body shots. Anything beyond that distance and the required number of shots you need to achieve a kill can rapidly increase to up to 6 or 7. Is this the advertised 99 points of damage? Well, no, it certainly isn't. But being able to two-shot any player up to a distance of 5 meters is still pretty impressive. Have you been playing as Cavera? If you have, leave a comment below to let me know how you've been getting on. I hope this video was entertaining and or contained some useful information. And as always, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next episode.